test the ELT, we select the test functions from the functions menu, ELT. This is our test page for ELT. If we hit the config, a very simple configuration, whether we are going to directly connect to the ELT or whether we're going to use the antenna. I think we'll do an antenna test. And then whether we want to display values in decimal, octal, hexadecimal or binary. I think a lot of people use hexadecimal. So that's the ELT configuration. A warning about ELT testing. It is essential that the safety protocols are used for testing an ELT. Mistakes are very easy to make and the fines and punishments are quite severe. So please make sure that you only switch on an ELT into test mode or in compliance with your local air traffic control and emergency services conditions. So in this case, we have three options. We have the 121.5, 243 megahertz or 406 megahertz. For the 121.5, all we're doing is listening for a 121.5 megahertz generated emergency signal. If I start the test, here's our little warning to make sure that we are compliant with the local requirements. I'm now in a listening mode. All you would do on the aircraft is put the beacon, the ELT, into test mode, which will generate a 121.5 megahertz signal. The arts will receive it and decode the information. So on the right hand side we have the frequency received, the power, the percentage of AM modulation and the minimum and maximum of the modulation sweep. That's all the 121.5 beacon can do. If I change that to the 243 megahertz beacon, this is exactly the same thing. So we're ready, we start the test, we're receiving a signal, the beacon is put into test mode, it generates a 243 megahertz signal and the arts will decode the frequency, the power, the percentage AM, that's the modulation, and the minimum and maximum modulation sweeps. Stop this test. So on a 406 megahertz beacon, there is a lot more information. If I start the test, hit the start, the arts is now listening on 406 megahertz for a transmission. The aircraft ELT is put into test mode or in to transmit, it transmits a packet of data on the 406 MHz frequency. The ART receives that data and decodes it. There are normally two kinds of messages stored within the beacon, what's known as the short message and the long message. Whenever you do a 406 MHz test, the received information, be it the short message or the long message, will be stored in the tablet for future use. To exit, stop test, exit, and I'm back at uh, functions menu. Back one more time, I'm at our main menu.